But I'd like to think that, uh, you know, he did take away something from the Northwestern and maybe a little bit from my lead. I've always thought of Jake like a son. And uh, you know, in a way, uh, that does make him a part of my legacy as well. Well, if you've been keeping an eye on the Discovery Channel, you must not have forgotten Jake Anderson for one of the most popular and loved shows, Deadliest Catch. That same Jake Anderson, who's an inspiration to us all, has worked tirelessly to pursue his dreams, never giving up despite the obstacles he may have had on the way. He's demonstrated that no dream is too big and no challenge is too daunting if you keep searching for the light of success. Unfortunately for Jake, despite all the fame and success, tragic events kept occurring in his personal life while on the show. So without further ado, let's take a look at what really happened to Jake Anderson. In less than five minutes, we've already made $20,000. Woo! God. Money is the cure of all evil. Something like that. Jake Anderson was born in 1979 and raised in Anacortes, Washington. After graduating from high school, he attended Edmonds Community College and developed an interest in fishing. By the time he was 17 years old, he had started fishing in Alaska's Bristol Bay. Jake Anderson's professional career, including working in restaurants and recreational skateboarding, but in his early 20s, he made fishing his primary occupation for a living. At 25, he initiated crab catching in the Bering Sea. As a fourth generation fisherman, Jake was no stranger to the line of work, and at the age of 26, he boarded towards the Northwestern and quickly climbed the industry ladder. Little did he know that this would be the start of something much bigger. In 2002, he started working as a deckhand on a fishing boat, which eventually led him to join the cast of Discovery Channel's popular show, Deadliest Catch, in 2007. Anderson was hired by Captain Sieg Hansen on board the Northwestern in 2007 as a greenhorn. Anderson made his Deadliest Catch appearance in the episode New Beginnings aired on May 15, 2007. Deadliest Catch was a reality television show that aired on the Discovery Channel. The show documented the crew's struggles with dangerous weather and waves and their efforts to catch as many crabs as possible and make a profit through it. The show also featured interviews with the fishermen, giving viewers insight into their lives and what it takes to survive in the dangerous Bering Sea. Jake Anderson joined the show during season three and soon took over its former captain, Elliot Neese. Always eager to prove himself, it wasn't easy on the high seas, especially when it came to earning the respect of his companions, but he proved himself worthy of all respect. From then on, Anderson became a fan favorite as viewers followed his journey of becoming a professional fisherman and learning the ropes of the dangerous Alaskan crabbing industry. Jake wrote an autobiography by the name Relapse, in which he told us about what he experienced in his life. Jake also described his sad past in his autobiography. Not only that, Jake also wanted to be a skateboarder, but his tragic past did not enable him to do so. After stubbornly fighting back against all this, he met with the tragic deaths of his sister, mentor Phil Harris, and the missing of his beloved father. Anderson underwent personal tragedies on Deadliest Catch, including being told that his sister Chelsea had died due to pneumonia and other complications after battling rheumatoid arthritis, seizures and addiction with painkillers during Season 5, Episode 14, Bitter Tears. One year later, on January the 6th, 2010, he learned that his father, Keith Anderson, had gone missing. His father was thought to have passed away after his truck was found unaccompanied in rural Washington during Season 6, Episode 11, Blown Off Course. A hiker discovered Anderson's father's remain approximately a mile from where his truck was abandoned in 2012. To find out about his father's death, Jake also went to Norway and found out about his extended family and its history. Anderson was promoted to deck boss of the Northwestern in 2012 and later that year, he received his USCG mate 1600-ton and master 100-ton captain's licenses. Anderson has been the skipper of the crab fishing vessel Saga since 2015. Anderson married Jenna and they have three children together. They currently live in Seattle, Washington. Due to the urgent demands of his job, Jake struggled to strike a balance as a captain and a father, and the time spent away from his family has taken a severe toll on him. For example, during the birth of his first child, Elliot Neese, a former captain, 
called Jake Anderson and asked if he would be interested in taking command of the saga. And also Cadence, Jake's second child, was born just as Jake was about to take the saga into dry dock for improvements. His autobiography, Relapse, was published by Coventry House Publishing on April 29, 2014 and quickly became a bestseller. In his autobiography, Jake Anderson recounts the harrowing story of his struggles with addiction. Since the initial episode of The Deadliest Catch aired in 2005, one of the captains in the spotlight is the FV Northwestern's Captain Sieg Hansen. In contrast, Jake Anderson started as a greenhorn for Northwestern. However, throughout the show's 18 seasons, he's gone through many good and bad changes. He asked for his job back after some time away with the FV Kiska C and eventually became the deck boss of Northwestern. In 2015, Jake Anderson became the captain of the FV Saga after leaving Hansen's care. The two have been friends and rivals ever since. However, the two have formed a deep bond of respect and friendship over the years, despite their occasional clashes. Hansen has been Anderson's mentor and father figure, and the two have a friendly rivalry that is often seen on the show. Anderson has learned from Hansen's experience and expertise while still maintaining his unique style and approach. Despite their differences, the two share a deep bond of respect and friendship that's been evident since the beginning. In 2011, Jake Anderson gave an interview with Pop Culture Principal. The captain was questioned about his relationship with Sig Hansen. Anderson compared it to a father-son relationship and repeatedly invoked the concept of family. He explained that it's not as close as his relationship with his father, but it's somewhat similar. He added that Sieg is not as tough as his father was before his father went missing. He went on to say that his relationship with Mandy, Hansen's real-life daughter, has been like that of siblings because she wanted Hansen to give her good attention. Jake said that the Northwestern, where he spent so much time, was a family boat with crew members who fought like siblings. He added that at the end of the day, they would die for each other, which is why people love them. He compared his situation to leaving home rather than quitting a job in an episode from 2013 where he said his goodbyes to his Northwestern crewmates. He told Hollywood Soapbox in 2015 that the boat will always be his home. But where did he go after leaving his so-called home and what's he doing now? That's not quitting a job. That's not about moving ahead. That's leaving home. Despite the tragic incidents that took place in Jake Anderson's life, he never quit. He remained persistent throughout his life and has appeared in every season of the Discovery Channel show Deadliest Catch since 2007. He's made a tremendous contribution to the show Deadliest Catch over the years. He's provided valuable insight and experience for the crew, and his bravery and resilience in the face of adversity have been an inspiration to all who had watched the show. Anderson's expertise in fishing has helped the crew succeed, and his passion for the sea has been evident. He's also been a mentor to many of the younger members of the crew, helping to pass down his knowledge and share his experiences. He's been an important part of the show and has inspired countless viewers with his courage and determination. The Delius Catch documentary helped him earn more than $200,000 a year. He's been part of the show for the whole 15 seasons, making him one of the crew's most experienced and well-known members. In addition to his work on the show, Anderson advocates conservation and sustainability in the fishing industry. He works closely with various organizations to promote sustainable fishing practices and has also been involved in numerous fundraising efforts to benefit the fishing community. Jake is also doing well in business right now. He started Captain Coffee with Scott Spurbeck, a former Bering Sea captain who's now a businessman, in addition to the many products found on the Saga website. The company offers a variety of coffee blends and merchandise, and it was created to honor the legacy of Anderson's late father. Anderson has faced many challenges since his father passed away, but he remains dedicated to honoring his memory and creating something positive out of the tragedy. Captain Coffee was an excellent opportunity for Anderson to do just that. Jake Anderson is a beacon of inspiration for us all. He's never ceased in his efforts to realize his ambitious dreams no matter what obstacles he might encounter along the way. An outstanding demonstration of how persistence and hard work can lead to success. Through facing adversity and reaching out towards heights with assuredness, he has demonstrated that anything is possible, even if one faces setback after setback, just continue striving forward.